Hello friends, in this short video, we will see how soldering is done and what we should pay attention to. Enjoy watching. Wireless energy transfer, also known as wireless power transmission or wireless electricity transmission, is the process of transmitting electrical energy from a source to a receiver without the use of physical connections such as wires or cables. This technology relies on various methods to transfer energy over short or long distances, including electromagnetic fields, resonant coupling, or microwave transmission. Here are some key aspects of wireless energy transfer. Usage areas. Wireless charging. One of the most common applications of wireless energy transfer is wireless charging for electronic devices such as smartphones, smartwatches, and electric vehicles. Inductive charging pads, magnetic resonance systems, and radio frequency RF, energy transfer are some of the methods used. Consumer electronics, in addition to charging, wireless energy transfer can power or extend the battery life of various consumer electronics, including wireless headphones, remote controls, and IoT devices. Medical devices, implantable medical devices, such as pacemakers and neurostimulators, benefit from wireless energy transfer to recharge their batteries without requiring surgical removal or replacement. Industrial automation, wireless energy transfer is used in industrial settings to power sensors, actuators, and devices that require frequent recharging or have inaccessible locations. Electric vehicles, EVs wireless charging systems are being developed for electric vehicles, offering convenient and efficient methods for charging EVs without the need for physical connectors. Space applications, in space exploration, wireless energy transfer can transmit power to unmanned spacecraft or rovers, reducing the need for physical tethers and cables. Health risks. Wireless energy transfer technologies, when designed and implemented correctly, are generally considered safe. However, there are some considerations regarding potential health risks. Electromagnetic fields, EMF Some wireless energy transfer methods, like those using radio waves or microwaves, emit electromagnetic fields. The exposure to EMF is regulated by safety standards, and in everyday applications, exposure levels are typically well below harmful thresholds. Still, ongoing research examines the long-term effects of EMF exposure. Resonance and heat, in resonant wireless energy transfer systems, heat can be generated during the energy transfer process, potentially causing localized temperature increases. Proper design and thermal management are crucial to minimize any potential risks. Interference, wireless energy transfer systems, especially those using radio frequency technology, may interfere with other electronic devices in the vicinity. Regulatory agencies have established standards to mitigate interference issues. In summary, wireless energy transfer offers numerous benefits and is generally safe when properly designed and operated within established safety standards. Health risks, if any, are minimal under normal operating conditions. However, ongoing research and monitoring of potential health effects are important as the technology continues to evolve. I hope our video was useful, you can support me by following our channel. Goodbye.